Hi, in this video I will cover a few things. Cypress, which is end-to-end -end test runner, and Codefresh, which is CI solution that allows you to run your tests uh, in the cloud. And the third thing, how to connect those two in a way that you could run Cypress tests in parallel. So basically we will run multiple parallel jobs on Codefresh CI and each job would run would run just a chunk of the Cypress test suite you have for your project and thanks to that you will be able to complete your whole test suite for Cypress in a few minutes rather than waiting one hour. One thing that you may notice when working with any end-to-end -end test runner is that with time you add more tests and those tests that use browser like Cypress just take a lot of time maybe half an hour, maybe hour or a few hours in, in case when you are working on the complex project. And in such scenario, you would like to just speed up your CI builds and run them much faster. So we'll cover this, how to run parallel jobs on Codefresh CI server and how to do that for the Cypress IO, which is end-to-end -end test runner. I wrote article about it, so this will be link to it uh, below the video so you can also like copy paste examples from there so but let's just jump to the codefresh uh, dashboard and there I will show you one of my project uh, basically I copy pasted the repository called Cypress example kitchen sink this is like a set of tests for Cypress and I'm just going to split those tests across two parallel uh, jobs on Codefresh. Uh, Codefresh also call, calls those parallel jobs a steps, so we will just run two parallel steps. Um, yeah, so when I clicked on my on my project uh, in the work, work workflow tab, I have a configuration for it. So there are like two things. One is the Codefresh YAML file, which is configuration of my project and I need to define here where is the path in my repository to the project also here I connected my github uh, repository and uh, there are also like settings for environment variables uh, we'll use tool called knapsack pro uh, which is uh, wrapper around uh, around the cypress and knapsack pro will take care of splitting tests in parallel so thanks to that you can use Cypress without uh, Cypress dashboard and yeah and we will need the API token for Knapsack Pro so here is the my key entered um, yeah and in the builds tab you will see the list of recent uh, CI builds so for instance a few, a few minutes ago I just ran one of my uh, of my build and here is the details for it so as you can see there are a few steps like clone the repository to the uh, to the CI server um, I'm using docker uh, receipt like docker image with um, all the stuff that's needed to run my uh, tests and the first step is just running tests so as you can see there's just step to run tests and this is type parallel so those two, uh, run test 0 and run test 1, are just running at the same time. So half of the test suite is going to the node 0, and other half is going to the node 1. And nice thing is that Knapsack Pro will just take care of dynamically allocating test files across those two nodes. So the test would be split in a way that each parallel job completes at similar time. So no, ma no matter whether one of the parallel step started a bit later or maybe the performance was degraded or you have some tests that are just sometimes running longer or faster and this could impact how the tests are balanced uh, and allocated across the nodes um, yeah knapsack uses something called Q mode which is like which is like queue of tests sitting on the knapsack pro api site and each parallel node consuming this queue and thanks to that uh, all parallel steps would finish at similar time so in a result you get the optimal time of running your CI build 
you get the CI build information uh, whether tests passed or failed as soon as it's possible. Um, yeah, so this is like high level overview how this looks in Codefresh dashboard. Uh, now I will show you how the configuration file look looks like. So we have a Docker file that's uh, based on this Docker file. We we run tests inside of the container for for this uh, image, this Docker image. So as you can see, we are using Cypress image as a base, and then install some additional stuff here like Codefresh command line interface. We we run npm install to fulfill our dependencies inside of the container. The next step is to add a Codefresh YAML file to your repository and yeah and this is the example for the YAML configuration file so as you can see there are these three steps three stages I've just described um, and the docker file uh, is called test.docker file so you need, create, you need to create this file in your repository uh, and finally we have a test run test uh, stage uh, it's yeah it's using this docker image and here we have two important things uh, we configure environment variables so we we say that knapsack pro should uh, use should use two parallel steps and then we have something called matrix this is feature from codefresh that allows you to create parallel steps but each step is different based on the uh, on the information we listed here. So here we have two different values for environment variable called NAPS across CI node. So as you can see we have node uh, with index 0 and node with index 1 because we want to run two parallel steps. If you would like to run 10 parallel steps then here you need to set the value uh, CI node total 10 and here you need to list uh, indexes from 0 to 9 yeah, so that's the basic uh, configuration here. And finally, we have a command. So one thing, Cypress is just run, uh, running tests against our uh, running up and running application. So you may want to start your application first. For instance, I have a task npm run start CI. And here I say, let's run this in the background because my application uh, should be run should be running at, at the same time while while I'm running my tests against this application, and also Codefresh requires to that command like one one liner here should uh, output some information. So that's why I have uh, uh, after uh, putting this process into the background, um, just printing some text to the output to let Codefresh uh, run cor correctly. Then the second comment is to run Knapsack Pro Cypress, which is wrapper uh, around the Cypress that will just ensure that proper set of tests is executed on uh, each parallel jobs. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, how the configuration looks like. Uh, everything is described in this article. Also, I here described mo like I have a recorded another. A video describing how the dynamic allocation of tests files works. This is called Knapsack Pro Q mode, so you can also learn more about it here. Um, yeah, if you want to check more, you can visit knapsackpro.com. Uh, I have an integration with many many CI solutions and with more test runners, not only in JavaScript, also in Ruby. Uh, yeah. Like high level overview how Knapsack works, it's basically instead of running just Cypress command, you run Knapsack command, which is wrapper around Cypress. And also, Knapsack Pro has built in a fallback mode mechanism. So, whenever Knapsack Pro API could be not available or there would be network issues, uh, it would automatically switch to fallback mode and would still run your tests. So, you are never uh, locked uh, or blocked so your CI, CI servers your CI server can always run your tests um, yeah I hope you will find this useful um, yeah thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section or visit Napsack Pro and you can 
uh, chat with me on the on the online chat there. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.